When Vantage 2.0 came out, I was excited, particularly about a few features that I knew I would be using. Many of the features are simply compatibility improvements. For example, more of the animation that you do in 3ds Max will transfer appropriately to Vantage. This is welcomed, of course, but in my opinion, where Vantage really shines is with the things you can do directly in Vantage. As in, animations in Max working in Vantage is great, but I want to animate in real time with Vantage because that is the point of it for me. Animating cameras in Vantage is fun, easy, and intuitive, so I want to animate more. This is why I was excited about scene states being added to Vantage. I figured if you can set everything up as a scene state, then assign them to specific cameras, I should be able to animate between them. You can set up scene states for five different parts of your scene. The environment, the lights, the objects, the materials, and the post-processing. This is great. Previously, this stuff was mostly universal throughout the scene, so to change the look of the scene, you had to manually adjust all of this, and there was no way to save and go back to a previous look. Working that way was a major bummer. You guys know that I love the light mix function of both V-Ray and Vantage. It is a great example of a tool that inspires creativity by intuitively allowing an artist to set the mood of an image in real time without technical settings getting in the way. This is how I want all of Vantage to work. And it does in a lot of ways, but now with scene states, I was hoping I would be able to save my work, go back and forth, and hopefully animate between two different options. So I opened up my old office scene and started to experiment. One of the new features with Vantage 2.0 was the new UI, which you notice right away. Everything is clean and concise like it was before. On the left side, you have the camera settings, the color corrections, or post scene state settings, and the render settings. On the other side, you have all the controls for the previously mentioned sub scene states, environments, lights, etc. In the middle, there is a toolbar for transforms, navigation, and creation. Finally, we have the animation toolbar, which is very similar to before. Once I figured out how to get around, I went to work trying to figure out scene states. You can set a substate for all things that I mentioned. Then save an overall scene state encompassing all of them together, or you can mix and match your substates. For example, use the lighting setup from your day state, but use the color correction or post from your night state. Once I had all my scene states set up, I wanted them, I assigned them to different cameras. I was really excited to drag the cameras into the animation timeline and allow the animation to seamlessly transition between two different states. Drag, drop, allow Vantage to create an automatic transition, and boom, an animation transitioning from day to night. But it didn't work. As far as I can tell, it doesn't work. The scene states can be assigned to individual cameras in the viewport, but for animations, they are set universally. We were so close to something great here, Chaos. After my disappointment, I switched gears and just started creating different animations. For a different look, I used the record camera function combined with the free look navigation. This created something interesting. For your viewing pleasure, here are the results, first without the denoiser on, and then with it enabled.
Okay, well if I think about it, I'm still happy that scene states exist. It is certainly helpful in my workflow. But I guess I will still have to animate a lot of things in 3ds Max, not real time, and transfer them to Vantage using the VR scene. Supposedly, a lot of that kind of thing is more compatible now. Or maybe Live Link is the solution, where I just animate in Max, but get the real time feedback I love in Vantage while I work. So much to test, so many experiments for upcoming videos. Let me know what you think though. Are you bummed like me that scene states can't be animated? Have you found a way to make it work? If you have, please tell me in the comments, because I need to know. And most importantly, is Vantage 2.0 worth the extra money? Thanks for watching and subscribe for more experimentation videos, and of course, all things ArcViz.